special reasons. Do you have a question about the time plan, tax, and investment, bills, trusts, and insurance? We want to hear it. You can ask your question by going to foxprovidence.com and clicking on money. The money for others. Sunday morning at 1130 on Fox Providence. Have a story that needs to be told? Take action. Call the Target 12 Investigators Hotline now at 401-228-1763. No one covers news like Eyewitness News, covering the stories that matter most to you. Sean Daly spoke to one of the students this could affect. Taking you to the scene of breaking news. Well, Susan, I can tell you the live pictures here speak for themselves. It's something you don't see every day. And Digging deeper on a dangerous car defect. There have been more than 30 reports from drivers that they had difficulty slowing the car down. See the coverage you can count on differently. Only on Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News is covering the economy now. The parent company of Discount Airline, Direct Air, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The move came just three days after hundreds of passengers were left stranded earlier this week by service cuts. Court documents show the company is between 10 to 50 million dollars in debt and has less than a million dollars in assets. A Florida mother is being credited with saving her 15-year-old daughter from a shark. It happened Wednesday at New Smyrna Beach, Florida. We're told the two were paddling on their surfboards when the girl was suddenly pulled under water. Her mother sprang into action, pulling the girl onto the board and back to shore. Me and, me and my buddy right here, we're out getting pulled in the water, and then as we come back, this girl comes running out of the water with her foot in. An ambulance was already on scene because another person had also been attacked by a shark just moments before. The girl underwent surgery and is now recovering. Newport's iconic mansions have officially opened for the 2012 season, two weeks earlier than previous years. The Preservation Society of Newport says it's in response to increased public demand. Five properties are now offering daily tours. And we've also learned the society is offering a new behind-the-scenes service tour at the Elms. The Newport mansions are one of the state's biggest tourist attractions. Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. It'll turn out to be a nice day for some mansion hopping down here in Newport. Tomorrow looks like another one of those nice days. In fact, we have a string of very nice days ahead. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. Our live pinpoint on the radar showing no rain or snow out there. Temperatures earlier in the day topped out in the 50s in Smithfield, 56 in Taunton. Providence at 54, a little bit cooler along the South Shore, but pretty nice everywhere once the sunshine did return. 41 in Smithfield right now, 42 Providence, Newport 41 over there in uh, uh, Taunton. Look at that kind of chilly, 33. 39 in New Bedford and Westerly right now is at 38 degrees. Great visibility here. We've had some high clouds zipping across our skies throughout the night. And those clouds are way up there at about 25,000 feet. Temperature 42 with a wind from the southwest at about 3 miles an hour. The satellite uh, radar, or actually the temperature is from earlier in the day, topped out about 54 here in Providence, but not too far away. We've got 60s and 70s, and it's this kind of warmth that's going to be working its way into our area over the next several days. Now, we're probably not going to be seeing temperatures soaring well into the 70s, but probably flirting around 70 degrees for a few days. Now, the radar picture is showing some of these high clouds working their way across southern New England in response to a weather system which is mainly up uh, well to our north. High pressure is keeping us nice and dry, and throughout the daytime tomorrow, We'll reap the benefits of that high as we bring some southwesterly wind and bringing in some warmer temperatures as well. And I think we're going to have a lot more in the way of sunshine tomorrow. Now, first thing in the morning, we'll wake up to some uh, patchy areas of uh, fog and low clouds around. That should quickly give way to some sunshine. Probably by around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, we'll have a good amount of sun across the entire area. Temperatures throughout the course of the evening and night will be falling down to about 40 degrees. A little bit colder in some of the Outerlying areas like you saw in Taunton already down to 33. Your Sunday morning will feature temperatures quickly warming up once the sun comes out. Kind of a slow start, clouds, fog. Sun pops out with that, up to 55 degrees by around 11 o'clock in the morning. And then in the afternoon, 66 Central Falls, east side, 66, 65 degrees in downtown Providence. So a very pleasant day. The wind's not terribly strong, 5 to 15 miles an hour from the uh, south and southwest. 
67, uh, 67 degrees over there in Warwick with lots of sun along the south shore from westerly into Charlestown, Narragansett, and Newport, topping out about 60 degrees. Again, a slow start, especially near the south coast with clouds and fog. Further inland, 67 degrees in Coventry. You'll probably just have some patchy fog first thing in the morning. Upper uh, northern part of uh, Rhode Island, 68, Barville, Woonsocket, and Cumberland, over in the southeastern mass. Again, a nice day. Sunshine, low clouds, and fog hanging.